Welcome to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. Join us as we review our favorite RPGs, collectible card games, MMOs, video games, PC games, and bring up interesting topics and things that we'd like to share with everyone. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Jim from Creative Play and Podcast Network. I'm here with an interview with a long-term friend of mine, uh, Jocelyn. Hello! <laughs> I'm Jocelyn. Hey, Jocelyn. So, uh, do me a favor. Tell our fans a little about yourself. Well, um, I am an avid steampunker here in town. I'm one of the organizers for the Tucson Steampunk Society, and I've been doing that for three, almost four years now. Um, I work with a number of conventions here in Arizona. I also work with some other volunteer programs. Um, we do a maker style fair and I work with that. And um, I also own my own costuming business with my business partner, Margie Kosky, called Lady in Waiting Fashions. I do historically inspired costumes for the most part, um, some cosplay, some actually historical costuming for reenactment and a lot of corset making. As well as bustles. Oh, I love to make bustles. <laughs> I'm all about the bustle. <laughs> Kelly's got a bustle on order soon. Yeah, well, I'm gonna. That reminds me, I gotta. I couldn't get the app to work on my phone, so I will. All right, we'll get that. <laughs> so, uh, what's uh, what's your favorite convention in the Tucson area? Oh gosh, I mean that's probably Tuscon, just because um, it's it's very small. Um, intimate convention and by small I mean it's several hundred people so it's, <laughs> it's not like 20 people in a room but um, it you get to go to this convention and actually hobnob hang out with meet whoever the guests are a couple of years ago I got to be on a panel with SM Sterling which was huge like such a great honor for me and I got to talk to him and meet his wife and we were just like chit-chatting in the convention so that was really cool it reminds me a lot of the way conventions used to be so it's in a hotel and it's not all bright shiny mega media things it's really fan based it's really fan run the literature is important the people doing the artwork is are really featured there's a lot of local talent involved and so it's a, it's sort of like a homecoming convention as well as being just very charming and incredibly well run going to be going there on the 31st of October this year too. It's going to be fun. Yes, I will be there. You will be there. Um, Kelly will be there. <laughs> it's going to be a really fun convention. This will be my first time. I've never been. You know, it's it's fun. There's a lot of content. There are tons of panels. Uh, usually there's so much going on that you actually have to make a choice, which is kind of nice. Um, I'll be doing some panels there, which I'm excited about. And um, I'm running an, an event. Um, I'm running this. I'm helping to put on Tuscon's first burlesque and cabaret show. I'm very excited about that. We're getting some local burlesque dancers and some local drag queens. We're putting them together in this this I don't know alchemy of awesome. <laughs> so um, that that's very exciting. And you're going to be uh, participating. You're going to be assisting in. Jim's oh yeah, that's game right. Game. You will I am be playing one of the characters in the con game. Yeah, that's right. I will be assisting as a character for the LARP. Um, I'll be ex um, participating as my character, Madame Askew. I perform Madame Askew at a number of conventions in the Southwest and in California, which is very exciting. She's really kooky and a good time. Will I be Tesla con? Uh, well, I won't be, uh, I'm not hired to perform there, but I'm getting to go to TeslaCon, and I'm taking Madame Askew there, and I'm mm. super excited because TeslaCon is like a bucket list convention that I've always wanted to go to, so I'm very excited to go. How about uh, Wild Wild West Con? Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> well, you know, Wild Wild West Con kind of isn't in Tucson, even though it kind of is. I think it's of it more as, as an, Air, an Arizona convention rather than a Tucson convention. It's all out at Old Tucson Studios. I'm the tea director for that, so I organize the tea parties and the tea dueling, really anything to do with tea. I, um, I work with a little improv troupe 
and I put together some more people for that troupe for Wild Wild West Con. So we do a lot of humorous improv around tea. We include the audience members. So my part is really fun. I love it. <laughs> the The convention itself is amazing. It's about I I guess like four to five thousand people attend yeah. from all over the world. All over the yeah. world. We you know we get Swedes and Germans and I mean Scottish Scottish yeah. um, yeah. Italians. I was very excited about the Italians because I got to speak to them in Italian, that was cool. Um, so it, it's just this great convention in this amazing location, it's very immersive. I love it because the steampunks arrive and we look exactly like we belong there. Um, as opposed to, you know, the tourists who are sort of like the normal people walking around in their normal day wear who look like suddenly they're time travelers and out of place. <laughs> so that's a really fun aspect. The, the they get a kick out of it though. They, I think yeah. they do. I, I think we add a lot to the ambiance of Old Tucson. Um, that also has just a, an amazing array of panels and performers and concerts and, you know, make and take workshops. So much content. And then there's the vendor space, oh, which is yeah. epic. The and, stunt shows that just go on too. The regular stunt shows at Old Tucson. The, the two owners um, of this convention are amazing people. I love working with Jason and Diana. I love all of the staff. I, I've just had the most amazing experience. And the old Tucson staff. The old yes, Tucson, oh. Tucson staff is awesome. They make us very much at home. They're, they really work with everybody, I think, to make this experience really shine. This will be the fourth year we're doing it. And um, my third year on staff, I'm just a around the moon excited. It's, it's weird science is the theme. I'm sure that I'm going to have to work in some weird science with the T. I'm pretty excited about oh, that. I already have an idea. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll keep it in the arcade. Keep it in the teacup. In the teacup. It just popped in there. <laughs> oh, that's what, what happened. What just popped in there? <laughs> Science. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm a I'm huge fan of Wild Wild West Con, and I, I really love to encourage people to come. I swear, I go to these other conventions, and I spend half my time handing out flyers going, no, 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 no. You need to come to this convention in March. It's amazing. <laughs> and if we're, if you, if you don't mind you should come in October to Tuscon too because it's it's totally different but also really fun. <laughs> yeah, cuz Tuscon has more of a literary bent for science fiction, fantasy, it's the, yeah, you know, authors, right? It's really about the literature. They bring in some great authors. Um, you know, they've had people like Jim Butcher and Laurel K. Hamilton. <gasps> Um, I love <laughs> Yeah. You Susan. love Laura. I love Jim. You Laurel, know. Yeah. Um, Jennifer Robertson. I don't, if for those of you who've read her Chesuli books, comes and that's like kind of, I, I'm a bit of a fangirl, so that's very exciting for me. <laughs> um, I've heard that George R. R. Martin is going to be coming Ooh. in 2016. Ooh. So that's <gasps> very exciting news for Tuscon as well. Oh, so gosh. it really is a literary convention. It's very, like, to me, it is that epitome of where science fiction and fantasy started. It's about the books. It's about the fans putting on a wonderful fan convention. And it's, you know, there's not the shiny, big, the you know, it's not Hollywood at all. So it's, it's really a lot of fun. Okay, so some of our listeners who actually follow D&D Journey of the 5th Edition probably know some of these questions. What's your favorite RPG, since you're part of our role group? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I could take the easy answer and say D&D. &D. Um, and I really am enjoying the fifth edition. She but just loves our group. I, awesome. I do love our group. I'm, I'm newer to D&D. &D. Um, I didn't come in until fourth edition, so I'm new. Um, really, my favorite system is White Wolf. I love the storytelling mm -hmm. system because I love improv. And so it's very easy for me to get into it. I'm a huge fan of Scion because I love mythology. Yeah, I like Scion. Um, right now I'm playing with another group of sort of Harry Dresden, White Wolf mashup. It's <laughs> really awesome. I really love that. Um, but really, White Wolf, the entire genre, has been very good to me in terms of role playing. So yeah, I'm kind of excited. Onyx is saying they're going to come out with a new version of uh, Scion. Ooh. That should be good to look at. I'm excited because I love Scion. That's a great game. It's Ragnarok and Roll. Scion uh, Hero to Ragnarok Story. Excellent. Our other podcast. Woo. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's my favorite. All right. All righty. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure speaking right, with you. And I'll see you this weekend on October 31st at Tuscon. That's right. Yay. Yay. <laughs> thank you for listening. 
Hi, this is Kelly. I play Trixie on the uh, Ragnarok and Roll, um, a Scion Hero to Ragnarok uh, podcast. Please check us out on iTunes. Rate us. Um, the more ratings we get, the more people can be aware of us. So thank you. Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening. <laughs>